What is up, fellas? Hopefully all is well. And uh, hopefully uh, your bracket from this uh, March Madness this year has not already gone to crap, um, as mine have pretty much every single one of them. I know ESPN allows you to make up to 25. I only made, like, I only made 13 or 14. But Ohio State was, like, the champion in, like, two or three of them. Um, Illinois was a champion in a couple of them. The Big Ten seems pretty overrated na uh, right about now. Um, North Texas beating Purdue in company. So uh, it's been crazy, and I know the Illini just lost earlier today to Loyola um, out of Chicago. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's out of Chicago. But again, it uh, looks like Loyola now a what, uh, stronger seed than they were uh, I think it believe it's two years or maybe just last year in their uh, nice Cinderella type run. Um, I believe it was the Final Four, and now uh, they just beat the number one you know seed that uh, had won the Big Ten. So uh, no big deal on that one. Uh, it turns out maybe I was the best team out of the Big Ten this season. So it is what it is. Looking right now, this North Texas team five and one now going up this week against I believe it's FIU, the worst team in the conference. FIU might be the worst team in the country. Um, but looking here at the Sun Belt, we saw, again, the Sun Belt is a terrible conference. Um, just not going to get really much of a boost on um, our move up the rankings as we're 5-1. and 5-0 and since that opener loss against the Clemson Tigers. But looking right here at your Heisman hopefuls, um, just through about six or seven weeks on the season, Julio Jones right there, wide receiver number eight for Bama. Georgia Tech quarterback Terrell Pryor with... The Ohio State Buckeyes, who uh, at this point, they're uh, doing a lot better in the football field than actually doing on the basketball court as a uh, hell. I mean, come on. Also do Mr. Broyles of uh, Oklahoma, OU's wide receiver. And then quarterback number 16, I believe. I believe this is Russell Wilson. Is it? Is this true that this is Russell Wilson? I don't know. I mean, six foot three. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. That They had the height horribly wrong. But going up against FIU... This team is absolute dog shit. We're on a great hot streak. We're at home. Should be an easy win. Should be an easy win. Just like uh, Ohio State Buckeyes thought, so so did some of their crazy-ass fans because they started uh, calling and leaving death threats to the basketball coach, head basketball coach there um, for the Buckeyes. It's a sport at the end of the day, folks. I mean, I mean, this is not the livelihood of people, you know. It's not, uh, you know, forcing people to, uh, you know, not be able to work um, because of lockdowns or anything like that. That's a whole nother issue. That's a whole nother issue that directly affects people's lives. But no, people will call and call in for death threats when it's fucking sports, but not politics. That's the world we're at. Um, I mean, just throughout history and recently, we've had a couple coaches receive death threats off of, you know, giving up um, upset losses to teams, you know, especially when you're the second seed in a... Uh, in a certain region for March Madness. It's just the craziness continues. The craziness ensues, and it will always continue in the month of March. It's already been a crazy uh, year and a half, so uh, come on. I mean, of course, March isn't going to let us down on that. But here, kind of a slow start for the offense. A ton of big hits to begin this game. Again, reverting back. Coach D made the move, the executive decision as the head coach for this North Texas mean green machine here, setting up this dynasty, and just, I mean, hey, a ballsy play himself and move is to make their freshman quarterback, who uh, just a little bit less on the attributes and overall rating compared to their senior, I believe their senior starting quarterback. Um, the guy's more athletic. He's not, you know, nearly that terrible of a passer compared to the uh, starter at the beginning of the season. But speaking of terrible, we're talking about, you know, arm strength over here with quarterback arms. It's the leg strength that's lacking that one. Kick is no good. Mr. Eagle right there for the mean green. Just, I mean, just down. Just down. Just like an Ohio State basketball fan. They're just down, folks, and it's just not been the strongest start. This quarterback is impressive, though, but more so is this top two defense in the country, North Texas, easily the best rush defense in the country. And you're dealing with a team that's pretty much known for uh, air raid type offenses, especially in the Sun Belt and whatnot, but a terrible pass by the quarterback. Again, only a freshman, 5-1 and one still, more so because of the level of competition we've gone up against. But this quarterback for a team that's just, I think they're 120th in the country, 
in ranking, which is n- pretty much near dead last if it's not dead last. Um, just not a good team whatsoever. Makes sense that they're in the Sun Belt, Sun Belt, even with our record. And uh, what, maybe 50th, 60th in the country according to the rankings, um, at least what I see. When And then, okay, crazy play right here. This wide receiver has the best hands on the team and apparently the best awareness. Fun play. That's what I like about this NCAA football game. I don't know if I remember correctly. Y'all let me know about um, 09 and 10 NCAA football games. Um, if, you know, it's like when we saw the quarterback get sacked and he tossed the ball just like fucking playing a game of jackpot. A um, little bit different of animations. You got still the same cool momentum shifts. Um, players having slow-mo um, or slow action, I guess you could say. Um, highlights right there, such as that awesome camera view. Never change that. I mean, hey, yeah. but also, too, though, speaking of uh, if it ain't broke, don't try to fix it. This thing right here, it's not broke, but we did our best to fix this play, and it turns out to be a nice slant route by wide receiver number 19, going to improve the motivation by plus one for wide receivers. I wish it was for quarterback as well. I mean, it was a nice toss. The man was nearly blind. No, he was literally blind. We were literally blind on that play as if we were on the moon talking to NASA back back home. There was nothing we could do about that except for just, you know, literally give our small little version of a Hail Mary. And, hey, our blessings were counted just like Sister Jean at her fandom with Loyola beating the fighting Illini today. Not much of a fight by him, though, I'd have to say. But a nice fight, though, by quarterback number 14 on this FIU team. The dude was, I mean... For a team that's just absolute garbage, one, it's fun to watch a lefty throw. I mean, I don't. Just like it's fun to watch, like Jim Edmonds on the Cardinals at bat, Manu Ginobili shoot a three. It's just fun to watch, um, even though it is against our team. But for the most part, this North Texas team just not giving up much. And while I say that, give up the first point of the game by this defense, three points. So it's only seven to three. What a hit, though. It's going to be picked up, though, by. I don't even think he should be the impact player anymore just because his offense doesn't utilize him enough to be much of an impact. Um, And then right there, incomplete pass, 20 seconds left. But uh, what a hit. Again, a game of huge hits. Speaking of that, a big hit. It's not going to be a highlight big hit, but it will create a highlight for the defense. Nice fumble recovery by left outside linebacker number 45. He's one of the starters on the team, but since we've had suspensions to both, I believe, right outside linebacker number 42, and the strong safety number two. Both impact players on this defense is one of the best defenses in the country. And what a play that was right there. I was trying to use or uh, get the icon on wide receiver number 19. He seems to be the best deep threat on this team. Uh, But wide receiver number four, I mean, he's got trusty hands and apparently has great awareness as well. Nice catch by him for the first down. And now trying to set it up, throwing it to our man. Terrible, terrible choice, decision to throw that pass, but rough in the passer as well. Um, it's not really going to change anything. It's a touchdown by North Texas before the end of the half. And then uh, highlight right here, another big hit, left end number 97. He's going to, I mean, his stats are pretty good. He is on the field, I'd imagine, a ton of the game since their offense doesn't get much done, even though I do like this quarterback with FIU. Nice first down run by him. Not much getting done through the air, I'd have to say, with him. No huge, huge plays. Um, but the man is a dual threat, and uh, honestly, he did seem like a threat because the offense wasn't running that well for us, um, especially at the start of this game. Wide receiver number 15. Should be interesting to see how we end up, just because the bad batch of defenses we have to go up against each and every week. It wasn't even a juke move, but that guy just stayed back an extra five yards behind him. The nice move right there. But wide receiver number 15. Could we get... With this offense that's producing a decent amount of points, which means a decent amount of touchdowns, especially since this offense pretty centered around the passing game, halfback number five. I'm going to just keep on saying it. I don't know why he's an impact player um, still, but it is what it is. A fumble on this. Again, the animations are just sick in this game. And uh, even more sick than that is the awareness on this offensive line. Nice recovery right there. But another fumble. Um, Just no protection in this game whatsoever I have to say and speaking of is on the other side of the ball as well you expected it one of the best front sevens in all of college football I think it might easily be the best front seven statistically not talent wise um, even though we do have one six sophomore D tackle 
even though it's the linebacker that gets the blitz sack on that one. But nice play by cornerback number 27. North Texas team just kicking ass on defense again, thank God. Because only 14 points, I'd imagine eventually we'll have a game that we're going to give up a ton of points to the other team. But he's obviously out of bounds. Calls it a user catch. Going to be a first down. But hey, that's the trick, fellas. If you ever get that situation and you have that gut feeling that you don't even think it's a catch, but they give you a catch, you run the no huddle offense and you get the fuck down the field. Just like in real life, you do that shit and you don't even think twice. You don't even do a hard count or anything. I don't give a shit if some of your guys aren't even lined up. You'll get the penalty, but they're not going to be able to. Uh, they're not going to be able to challenge the play, and it doesn't seem like the video game is going to try to override anything with the refs um, to see who's going to be able to check um, on the review. But right there, halfback number five getting involved quite a bit, but more so at the end of the game here in the fourth quarter, trying to wind things down for the most part. Beautiful three runs right here, including what I think is a 13, 14 yard rush at this point. And then just, that was a bad pass. I don't know how it got in there. But roughing the passer again in the red zone and said this time it's going to cost them big time. It's his third down and goal. And a beautiful, beautiful flat route by wide receiver number four. He's got to be in the top ten in the country in touchdown receptions. But we're looking at the Bolitnikov. I don't think anything's going to happen for the Davy O'Brien Award. Even I mean, he wasn't really starting for even half the game so far this year. Um, quarterback number 14 he's been highly efficient he is being utilized quite a bit in the ground game as well getting more stats but I think if it's going to come down to it we might have a couple of guys um, for defensive line linebacker awards uh, maybe a couple other dudes that uh, if we rack up more interceptions throughout the season the rest of the year um, and a beautiful play and pass right there 19 attempts 133 yards in that touchdown Pass right there by quarterback number 14. And one of the worst moves I've ever done when trying to catch an onside kick. Uh, terrible. Things look a little shaky now because this game really wasn't a route by any stretch of the imagination of what we've seen previously. Um, but at the end of the day, it's, it's 120th ranked team in the country. We have one hell of a pass rush, one hell of a rush defense right there. Rush defense, only 31 per game. <laughs> 31 yards per game, and there you go. Season average, negative 2. Or, sorry, th I've read that wrong. 31 today, which is decent amount coming from their quarterback. Um, that should have been picked off by linebacker number 45, who I was saying has been stepping up for this defense a couple interceptions. And there you go. Six straight complete completed passes by this quarterback number 14 on FIU. But there you go. Season average, negative two yards per game. That includes the Clemson game. Remember, we got destroyed in the secondary. That should have been picked off. I don't know why that didn't get picked off. I've been trying my best to get better at it in NCAA games. I'm pretty good at doing it with the linebackers in Madden. But it's something to work on, which is nice. Because, you know, um, most of the time when people play these video games that are this old, you feel like you've mastered the game. But uh, that's, the, that's the cool thing about playing the Dynasty like this. Uh, kind of hard to master a game. When you're dealing with teams such as FIU and you're playing as a North Texas type. But out of bounds on that one for the last play from scrimmage of the game. 20-10, to 10, a team that's been averaging nearly 40 points per game. With, again, we're talking about a defense that's only allowing, on average, 130 total yards. Um, and that includes the negative two rushing yards per game. Which shows you just how amazing that defense has been since the Clemson game. Gave up like 500 Plus yards to that offense. As always, fellas, take it easy. Another huge win by the main green.